Hypixel has added 8 brand new maps to Bad Wars and these are actually insanely fire. In this video, we will be checking out these maps by showing them off and winning a game of Bad Wars on every single one of them. Let's go! Deadwood Life below the treetops has flourished in the sunlight now that they are out of the shadow of the great canopy. Venture forth and conquer this new opportunity. Alright, so Deadwood is quite a good looking map. I really like the aesthetic of this map. I like the space design. I like most things about it. But one thing that I do not like is it has just released on Monday like a week ago. And that has made it so there are no clear first rushes yet. This bridge implies that you have to rush diagonally through the diamonds. But it also really, really looks like you have to rush straight. So you are going to get 2v1 most of the time, which is obviously a huge problem. If that wasn't a thing, then I'd say this map is really, really good and I'm probably going to play it myself. But with all of these, with the whole rush factor that you don't have a clear rush, this is just not a good map to play on. That is going to make it really hard to win video games, especially in solos, but also in doubles. I've tried this in doubles, this map. And it didn't work out because we got uh, 2v1 immediately. Not a good map. I might end up playing it when in a couple weeks a clear first rush has formed. But until there's a clear first rush, I just can't play this without losing every single game. It seems like yellow is about to rush our way. Play it just like that. Yeah, here they are. They took out the first rush. But they do not seem to be too good. But yeah, take a look at mid. Take a look at this map. Ooh, white is going mid. Uh, this is a really good looking map in my opinion. This person does not like taking KB. That is just nothing this person likes to do. I'll just uh, gift myself to them. Actually, ah oh, no! That would have been so good. They started taking KB. That would have been really important. Now we have pink left with a bet. White luckily died, but Pink might end up going for mid and all the emeralds now. Okay, Pink's actually going for yellow. That is really good. That should be it for yellow. Yes, nice. I like how you can fireball jump to the diamond island here. Now all we have to do is we have to find Pink base. And that should be an easy game for us. Gone. My aim was so, so shaky there. I don't know why. So, what was that move? Ah, I had the double gap glitch. That is not good. I just wasted a gap to the double gap glitch. That is so unfortunate. Now, you are gone, dear sir. So, yeah, definitely a map I'll play once there's a clear first wish. Harvest. The farmers are celebrating their miraculous yields for this year's competition. The judges are indeed very impressed, but there are accusations that things are not quite as they seem. Does that carrot even go all the way down? Alright, here we are on harvest, and well, this base looks pretty alright. I'll say I believe this is a straight rush, like this, like the one we're doing right now, but obviously I'm unsure. These maps have just released on Monday, so obviously I do not know how to rush on them. I will just hope that we're not gonna false rush too much in this video, otherwise that's obviously a little dangerous. It seems to be a fast iron, which is definitely good, and uh, to be fair, I expect all of these maps to be fast iron, because um, fast iron is just a new meta. Some maps even get updated to Fast Iron. I believe the last map they updated to Fast Iron was Playground. So obviously all of these, I expect them to be Fast Iron. I don't really like it too much from the looks. And also it seems too big. This is just too big of a map in my opinion. I wouldn't personally play this. I just took a look at um, Mid and Spectator when I died there. And not gonna lie, I do like the aesthetic of Mid. I also don't think that having these little fruit islands everywhere is too bad. I just believe that the map is too big. Even though I don't like the aesthetic of it too much. Also this island, it just... Hmm, it feels not too well built for some reason. I can't explain what it is. But uh, I don't know. 
But there's a lot of uh, flat space that you can use to PvP on. That is not too bad. And now Red is going for us. That is uh, not good. Now, one thing that is not cool, Blue is still hiding. I believe up in this base there might be hiding space. We will check that out. Okay, you are dead. Now let's go ahead and get a track on this blue guy. They apparently are at Green Base? Ah yeah, I see him. I see their name. <laughs> Goodbye. So yeah, my opinion, I don't really like this map. I wouldn't play it myself. Next one. Casita. Sadly, the map Casita, which is one of the new solos or doubles maps, is not available. This video has to be completed by Tuesday, so I sadly do not have the time to queue it any longer. It is just never available. I don't know, maybe I'm actually starting to get the theory that they might remove it again. It's almost like it doesn't exist. It is so weird. So I'm sorry about that, but I hope you're still gonna enjoy the rest of the video. I've got every single other map. I got a couple of really good plays, and it was just overall a lot of fun. So it's definitely worth it to stay around. Ironclad. The Eight Kingdoms banded together to defeat the ancient evil of Amaraland. But now that they have tasted victory, they want more and begin fighting amongst themselves. The alliance shatters as the arrows fly out across the void. This is war. This map I have only ever seen on pictures. I've seen this one picture that was on the Hypixel website showing off this map. This base is interesting. I do not know if I like it yet. But from what I've seen here, it's not too bad. The map definitely looks really fresh. These trees remind me of Trinan, the OG first Bellas map in 4Vs and 3Vs that still exists today. And uh, I really, really like this map's aesthetic. I'm a huge fan of this whole time period, medieval times. But yeah, I love this map's aesthetic. Holy man. This feels quite awesome. Let's see. Uh, we probably... It's uh, sadly really big again, so it's probably not practical to queue when I play privately. Because when I play privately, I just want to get stars as fast as possible, which means I have to win as fast as possible. Which means I can't play on maps that are this big. Oh, that's so sad. I love how it looks. It looks so, so good. Oh, okay. That was close. We. I also love that mid is this, uh, this destroyed castle. This map really fits the description that you heard at the start of this game. So yeah, I can just tell you, if you're a casual player, then I really advise you to play this map it's really a really really good map it's a really really good map if you're just a casual player and you want to enjoy some aesthetic maps then yep go for this and you're also not going to encounter too many sweats here since all the sweats want to grind want to get stars fast and this map is really not good for grinding hey okay, here is the destroyed oh this looks so good oh i really like this oh yeah that is really and wait it set fire on yeah, that is ooh, 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 That is awesome. This is simply... Let's check out here is another semi-mid island. What is this? Some sort of... Uh, trebuchet. Yeah, some sort of trebuchet uh, construct. And one thing that has really concerned me... Like... Uh, oh, 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 oh. One thing that has really concerned me... In the past weeks and uh, months, to be fair, many YouTubers quit and all that. One thing that really concerned me, when you see this video, these maps have been out for eight days and I haven't seen a single person mentioning this. And if it wasn't for me playing dreams and accidentally queuing these because you can't choose maps in dreams, I would not have realized that Hypixel has added new maps. Because there's simply no one only that cares anymore. No YouTubers making videos. I really, really hope that Gamer Boy 80 is gonna make a video on this, but I almost start to doubt this. Even though I can't do much with my follower base, I hope that I can kind of, uh, I don't know, motivate people to play Bellwiz again. It would be one of my greatest wishes to see Bellwiz come back to life. And I have so, so many ideas that go beyond just adding new maps. So many ideas that would actually make Bellwiz better update ideas. I've written down pages and pages of ideas. But I know that uh, if the moderators don't do something, that that voice is eventually going to die. We're already over halfway down with the player count. So concerning to see. Mostly also because I really hoped for 
that was to make me big and not the other way around. My plan was always to get on a leaderboard or get many stars and then people would uh, see that and be like, whoa, you're so good in such a popular game, I'm gonna subscribe to you. But I almost feel like by the time I'm on leaderboards, no one is gonna care anymore. But that shouldn't be the aesthetic of this video. That shouldn't be the atmosphere. We are going for happy at Warriors Place. I believe this is like a seven, eight minute game. Not going to lie, this is crazy. Even though I only got 38 blocks. Oh, good. They are here. I was going to say, I only have 38 blocks, so it's not going to be possible to bridge towards them if they are anywhere except mid. <laughs> because this map is so big. But luckily, they are in mid. Nice. Question mark? Both of these gray guys were really weird. Wait, how is this possible? Okay, they're dead. Uh, that is actually, and now look at this. That is a flippin' 10 minute game. <laughs> and it's not even like a clutch. Deposit. Deep in the depths of the unknown, an ore deposit like no other has been located. Unlimited riches are guaranteed to those who control it. Do you have what it takes? Deposit definitely has a really good looking base and whoa. <laughs> oh, this might be a really good for these map. I don't know if it's actually good for gameplay, but just from the aesthetic, holy man. Oh yeah, I love the way this map looks and I believe we have to rush like this. The diamond gen seems to be over there and it looks like some sort of mine where you can get diamonds and I really like that. So far, definitely one of my favorite maps I've played today. Ooh, mid goes for a similar approach, actually. This also feels like you're just heading into a mining area station where they basically have emeralds in store. And it looks like there's an emerald gen here, and there's also an emerald gen here, and oh my god, this is such a good looking map. I love this map. Okay, not gonna lie. Definitely, so far, my favorite map from all of the maps. Yeah. <sighs> I also love the base, and this looks like um, one of the really OG maps. What is this called? Don't kill yourself, no. Uh, I don't know what the map's called, but it looks like one of the really OG maps. Terminal. Navigate around lost cargo from future civilizations whilst battling your opponents for victory. And here we are on Terminal, and oh, 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 god. Oh, ah, okay, the, ah, okay, the shops are here. Which is pretty good. You can access a shop from your gen. I like that, yes. But, um... I don't like this aesthetic, no. That is the first base, I believe, that I do not like at all. I don't enjoy this. I really don't enjoy the look of it. Really don't enjoy the look of this. Also, apparently you have to try hard since we queued sweats. No, 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 no. The base, mm-mm. That is not good. Ah, that's the first map today I have to actually... Mm. Yeah, no. I don't like this. Might be my texture pack again, but... Just the color combination and everything about this. Nope. I just can't say yes to that. I just... Uh, nope. I do not enjoy this at all. <laughs> that is all I'm saying here. That's my whole commentary. Nope. No, no, no. Uh-uh. No, no. I can't say no. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's all I can say here. But I mean, yeah. I color well, combination really doesn't look good. Which makes me believe that if you have a different texture pack where the colors look slightly different... You might enjoy this map, but uh, everything else, just the pure looks, I can't enjoy that. Oh, okay. Red is actually crazy at the game. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. But yeah, Red actually put up a really decent fight. I definitely am going to make sure to throw you a couple combos they got on me. I believe they got one combo on me. And uh, that was a really crazy combo. Holy. Definitely GG's to the entire Red team. You guys are crazy at the game. So them actually putting up a fight there, GG's. They didn't let us get their bed.
Holy, did I just get hit through the window? What the heck? <laughs> but yeah, that's a really good one. Nice. Frogaton. The shrunken world of Frogaton Pond is a place of calm, unless the frogs are hungry. Protect your frog friend or you might be on the menu instead of the flies. Alright, here we are in Frogaton and I do like the base design. This looks really cool. I haven't seen this map yet, like at all. To be fair, I haven't seen most of the maps yet. <laughs> I, but I don't feel like it's going to look too great. Oh yeah, I don't like this. Reminds me of Lotus, yeah. And these frogs are scary as heck. Okay, that I really like that the frogs have the colors of the teams. That is awesome. Overall, I don't know. It doesn't really look cool for a Bowers map. For some reason, I don't know. I don't really like this aesthetic. Even though I do like how it looks, I kind of don't like it. I don't know. Let's check out this mid. Uh, the mid actually looks quite cool. I enjoy that. But one thing I don't like is how far away the diamond chants are. I mean... Bro. Bro. This is so far away. This field's way too far away. But then again, it's probably not too much further than on most other maps. So These maps are so well built, I really have to give it to the builders. This is... Dude. Build team? GG's on this. This is... So good looking, but uh, as I said, and again, even though it's really well built, I kind of, I don't know. That is not because of language barrier, just even in German, I wouldn't be able to explain why I like, but also don't like this map. But now there's only a yellow final kill left, and uh, I don't know where they are, I'm just gonna, yep, just gonna assume them to be here, and that is exactly where they are, and I'm gonna backboard them. Goodbye. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Next map. Still did. Originally started to escape the floods in the village of old, the traditional raising of the houses has been taken to the extreme. The village now stands so high that the land below is seen as merely a fairy tale. Just try to not fall. Alrighty. This base design looks so great again. I feel like these new bases all look kind of similar, always with this little enclosure here and... It always looks really similar for all the maps, not only 4Bs, but also the doubles maps and all that. It looks quite similar, and I believe I really like this design. I do also enjoy this um, map. Yeah, it looks quite good from the first glance here. Now let's see, this should be the Diamond Shin. And uh, yeah, this is good looking. I really enjoy this. Also, <laughs> good combo there. But, uh, yeah, I like the way this looks. Okay, teammate's gonna take the final. Nice. And now let's see if I can get this one. Should not be a problem. Nice. That is mid. And you know what? Now let's see if this is true. But I believe this map would look even greater at night. Yeah. I don't know if my pack is too good for this map. And I also think that it looks quite weird that... Obviously, the map ends there. They can't build it infinitely far into the void. At night, it looks even better. And maybe with a different texture pack, it looks better. But um, it definitely does not look bad. Yeah, I can't say that it looks bad. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, even though we only had seven maps. But if you've watched this far, then you probably didn't mind too much. And then you should actually consider subscribing if you haven't already. Because I've got a lot of bad voice content for you, even though everyone is quitting right now. I ain't gonna quit, don't worry about that. Have a wonderful rest of the day or night, and goodbye.